my initial reaction is what I texted the two of you. I said, there are about seven coaches I would have hired before Patrick Waugh. My thing is just like, I don't really understand the random firing of Lane Lambert, but also let me preface that by saying, I kind of just don't understand why the fuck Lane Lambert has been the coach of that team for so long anyway. Like the, like let's, let's back up in the Islanders, like, little lore for a second here they've got bruce or sorry they've got barry trotz coaching them right after the caps win the cup then he ends up like retiring or whatever and then becoming gm of the preds and so they just kind of promote uh lane lambert but that seemed like such a like a temporary thing but then it just ended up being the case for like what two full seasons yeah. Or so, two or three, I can't remember. And I don't know, it seems like a really random time to decide that that's no longer what they're gonna do. Like, it's not like they're like bombing, but also, like, I don't think changing their coach is gonna make them make the playoffs either. You know, like, it just seems like a really random time to be like, oh, it's a panic God. move. It just seems like they're like throwing darts at the board and they're like, yeah, it's, it's a panic like, move. Let's be real. Yeah, it's we don't want to fall too far in these Eastern standings to get so far behind everyone else that we. But they're like kidding themselves like that. You don't you're not doing shit this year, no matter what. Like, I don't care. You That team isn't doing shit. Even if they find a way to sneak into the playoffs, nothing is happening with the New York Islanders this year. My thing I, is like, like, why not Dean Evason? Like you, you chose yeah. Patrick Waugh over. Dean I would Edison. have loved that move. I would or have Barube. loved that move. Yeah, Barube would have been great on the island. Oh my god. Mm-hmm.